Hi everyone, I am your teacher Puan Nurhanisa. Today I am going to discuss more on chapter 6, Trigonometric Ratios. Okay, You are going to de determine the values of sine, cosine and tangent of 30 degree angle, 45 degree angle and 60 degree angle without using a calculator. Okay, I'll explain the concept of angle 30 degree first. Okay. To explain the concept, okay, let's say you have a uh, an equilateral triangle. Okay, equilateral triangle is the angle with same side. Okay, the length of the side are all, are all same. So let's say this is two, two and two. Okay, because this is equilateral triangle, that means the angle here are all, all same. Okay, are all same. Okay, so the total angles in triangle is 180 divided by 3 angle, so it is 60 degree. Okay, we are going to discuss 30 degree, right? Okay, so how we get 30 degree from here? Okay, imagine that this is uh, equilateral triangle. That means when you divide this triangle into 2, this 60 degree will divide into two 30 degree angles. Okay, so I'll redraw the half, half of the triangle. Okay, so this is 60 degree. This is 90 degree because you cut it half. Okay, and this is 30 degree. Okay, so what about the length? The length here is equal to this. is 2. Okay, for this length is half of this side, right? So 2 divide 2 equals to 1. How to find the height? Okay, so to find the height, you use Pythagoras theorem. Okay, to find the height, 2 square minus 1 square equals to, let's say here is A. A square. Okay, that's mean four minus one equals to A square. So three equals to A square. Then A equals to third three. Okay, square root three. Okay, that's mean the length of this is square root three. Okay, so from this diagram okay you can find sin cos and tan okay sin theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse cos theta equals to adjacent over hypotenuse tan theta equals to opposite over adjacent because we are going to discuss discuss about 30 degree angle here. Okay, so we look at this 30 degree angle. For this 30 degree angle, this is the opposite side. Opposite side. This is the hypotenuse. And this is the adjacent side. Okay, this is the adjacent side for 30 degree angle. So, sin 30 degree, okay, sin 30 degree is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, cos 30 degree equal to adjacent is square root 3 over hypotenuse. And tan theta, tan 30 degree is equal to opposite over adjacent okay so because we don't have to use calculator okay you just let 
the value of sin cos tan in set form okay set form that's mean uh, the value of uh, this with the root okay in the root form so from this concept from this diagram you can conclude that sin theta is 1 over 2 cos theta for uh, is uh, 3 square root 3 over 2 and tan theta equal to 1 over square root 3 okay next about 60 degree angle is similar to uh, the 30 degree angle you still use the same concept of equilateral triangle because this is 60 degree right okay to find the value of to find the value of sin cos tan you need to have a right angle triangle this is the 90 degree so you take any of this triangle okay you redraw not a straight line here okay. not very straight because i didn't use ruler okay let's say Okay, I take half of it. Okay. This is 60 degree. This is 30 degree. This is 90 degree. Okay, similar to the uh, the previous concept of 30 degree angle. This is 2, 2, 2, right? So, this is 1. This is 2. And this is square root. 3 okay how to get square root 3 you use Pythagoras theorem okay now to find the value of sin 60 degree cos 60 degree and tan 60 degree okay so now we refer the 60 degree angle this is the hypotenuse this is the opposite this is the adjacent okay so sin 60 degree is opposite over hypotenuse cos 60 degree adjacent over hypotenuse and tan 60 degree is opposite over adjacent okay next 45 degree angle okay for 45 degree angle we use another diagram we use isosceles triangle okay let's say you have uh, right angle here but this side and this side are same length okay so you join these two it become isosceles triangle but this is also right angle triangle okay now because this side and this side are same okay this is 90 degree the sum of these two side is equals to 90 how i get 90 because the total is 180 minus 90 equals to 90 okay so this angle plus this angle is 90 okay because this is isosceles triangle so to find one side here 90 divided by two angle equal to 45 degree so this is 45 degree this is another 45 degree okay now we have the 45 degree angle so because this triangle triangle so the hypotenuse is here the opposite is here the adjacent is here for this angle or for this angle this is opposite this is adjacent okay why why we have two value here don't worry Remember, because this and this are equal, so let assume this as 1, this is 1. Because same side, right? Same length. Okay? So, to find the hypotenuse, hypotenuse is equals to, because you want to find hypotenuse, so you must plus. Okay, don't forget the square. So, equals to 1 plus 1 equals to 2. So, the hypotenuse is square root 2. Okay, so find sin 45 degree 
Okay, so you can take any of this. Let's say I want to use this angle. So, uh, this is the opposite. This is the adjacent. So, opposite is 1. Hypotenuse is square root 2. Okay, so this is the sign. And then the cos. Cos 45 degree is equal to adjacent is 1. Hypotenuse is square root 2. Okay, and tan. 45 degree equals to opposite is 1 adjacent is also 1 so 1 over 1 equals to 1 ok so based on the 3 situation of the triangle just now we, call, we can calculate the value of sin cos tan using without using calculator ok so let's see the summary ok this is the first diagram ok the first diagram here is similar to what I I drew just now this is equilateral triangles with two unit length okay and we divide this into two parts so we have one unit here and one unit this is still two and two so we separate this become this angle okay become this angle uh, sorry this triangle okay uh, this 60 degree become 30 degree this is 90 degree so we it become right angle triangle from here you can find the value of sin constant for 30 degree angle and sin constant for 60 degree angle okay this is the value 30 degree is sin 30 degree is 1 over 2 and so on okay and this is the uh, isosceles triangle isosceles triangle with 45 degree angle actually similar to this one so you can find the uh, sin cos tan the sin cos tan using the triangle okay uh, so this here got note okay from here set what is set if the answer if the question uh, want you to give the answer in third form that means you must give this okay uh, okay uh, so we call it as third three okay so that's all for this video thank you